Shark attack requires two notes on the clarinet. An E, which is your thumb, and your first finger, and an F. Two notes, simply an E or an F. So remember, E is the thumb and the first finger. Here's what our E sounds like. And then F is just the thumb key. Here's how the song goes. The very first note is an E whole note. You have to make sure that when you play this E, you give it four beats. After the E whole note, we come to an F quarter note, followed by three rests. Remember, hold this for four beats. Here is what the first two measures sound like. Measures three and four is the exact same thing. E whole note, followed by an F quarter note and three rests. E whole note, F quarter note. Here's what the box three and box four sounds like. Box three and four are the same thing as box one and two. Whenever you see a note on the first line, that tells us to play an E. First space is the F. Now let's go along. Box five is probably the trickiest measure in the entire piece. Because instead of playing a whole note, we're now moving to a half note. This note is going to be shorter than the whole note. It's going to be two beats. All right? So box five, we have an E half note followed by the F quarter note and then just one rest. Here's what five sounds like. So two beats for that note. Box six is the same thing as box five. And then seven, eight, and then nine are pretty simple. We're just rotating between an E and F quarter note. E, F, E, F, E, F, E, F, E, and we're ending with a E whole note. So here's what seven, eight, and nine sound like. As always, before all these notes, make sure you're always taking a big breath, all right, before you play, and make sure you're starting each note with your tongue. starting with a big breath and then adding focus to your sound by using that two tongue. One more time I'll go through the note names. It starts with an E whole note. E F rest rest rest. E F rest rest rest. E F rest. E F rest. E F E F E F E F E that is shark attack.